So I've got loads of these kind of quick release and screw clamps for track saws and the MFT type dog hole benches. And I've seen loads of people making their own kind of modified. And I wanted to see just what all the fuss was about. Is it even worth it? So welcome everyone, my name is Rick. If this is your first time here for tips, tricks, how to's, tool reviews, or just because you want to be a better maker, subscribe now and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Let's get to it. Yeah, that's the wrong bit.
Okay, right. Is it even worth it? Well, I think for me personally, no, no, no. Chances are you're gonna mess up the coating on the bars and they're gonna to start to corrode. So that's something to watch out for. Um, they work, don't get me wrong. These were 150 mil, 15 centimeter clamps. They are now uh, 120 and 130, because as you saw, one of them, I could have gone a little bit shorter. Um, so I've lost the, the clamp in size. Yeah, um, that's not really the reason that it's not worth it. Um, purely from a cost point of view, for me, the time and, and all the rest of it, and actually some of my track clamps I got, they were on offer and I got other stuff and I threw it in on the order I'd spent so much, they were like nine or 10 quid each. It's about the same price as these, to be perfectly honest. I think all in all, for me personally, it's not worth it. They do still work as spreaders, um, which I haven't seen anyone kind of keep that facility on there. So you'll have to make your own decision. My decision is it probably wasn't worth it. It's too late now, but they will thankfully still work like this. Um, be interested to know, have you done it? Are you thinking about doing it? Might you do it? Has this changed or persuaded you to go one way or the other? I'm genuinely interested to, uh, to see. 